to the city where the street of gold are laid where the tree of life is blooming and the roses never fade Here they bloom but for a season Soon their beauty is decaying Oh, but I am going to a city Where the roses never Loved one's gone to be with Jesus in the robes of white array. They are waiting for my coming where the roses never fade. Here they bloom but for a season Soon their beauty is decaying Oh, but I am going to a city Where the roses never fade where the roses never fail. Amen. What a joy it is to be with you here today on What the World Needs is Jesus Broadcast. I'm excited to be coming to you. You know what? I'm excited to be coming to you as a Christian today, not as a lost person. I know the Son of God. I know Jesus is the Son of God, and I know He died on a cross for me. And I know right now that Jesus is going to come back for us. Amen. Jesus is up there at the right hand of the Father right now making intercession for me and you today. I just want to welcome you to What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. I want to welcome you and thank you for watching and, and, and just, just want to say that I appreciate everybody that helps us here, all the other preachers and all the, all the ones behind the scenes and everything that helps us do all this stuff here. Listen, we appreciate them and we love them, but you know what? Everybody at What the World Needs is Jesus loves you today, amen? We all love you today, and we love you in a way not like our wife, not like our children, but we love you in a godly manner. We love you in a way like Jesus loves his children, amen? We love you like Jesus would love us, amen? Glory be to God. God loves us, amen? That's the main thing. That's the point here. God loves us today, and I want you to know he loves every one of us. He didn't just pick a few out and say, hey, I'm just going to love these few. I'm just going to love these right here, and the rest of them are out. You know what? He said, no, I'm going to gather them all in. He said, I'm going to bring them all in. But uh, John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world. What is the world? It's all of us, amen? Every one of us, whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus today, oh, glory, whosoever, amen, shall be saved, glory to God. I just thank him today and praise him for what he does for me in my life and what he does for everybody that helps us and what he does for you, amen. You may not realize it, but God's working on your side all the time. All the time, God's working on your side, and we don't. sometimes we don't even realize that God's on our side helping us out doing things. Listen, he's way ahead of us. Amen. We think we're, we're on the top shelf and we're doing what, uh, uh, what we need to do and we're doing everything we're supposed to do, but God's way ahead of us. Amen. He's out there setting up things so that it'll fall right in place whenever we get there. Amen. Listen, God's the one setting these things up. God's the answer. Amen. God's the answer. Listen, and we don't have to be worried about today's time. 
Listen, we live in a time that we live in a time today that nobody on this earth has ever seen before. Amen. The, the year 2020, oh, glory. Boy, you say a mouthful when you say the year 2020. Amen. What a year this has been for, uh, for, uh, for all of us. Amen. Not just in the United States. Not just out in uh, uh, Israel, not just in the UK, not just in uh, uh, anywhere special, amen. This has been a world event in 2020, amen. Things have happened this year that, th things that happened this year that has the, the, the earth has never seen before, amen. Things have happened, glory to God. Listen, we, we're, uh, 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 we should be glad we live in this generation. We shouldn't be afraid of things that's happening. We shouldn't be afraid of things that's coming. You know what? I believe the mark of the beast is coming. I believe it's right around the door, but we shouldn't be afraid of that. Amen. Listen, I tell you what, it's a privilege to live this day and time and see the things that the Bible predicted thousands of years ago. Amen. Boy, isn't that something to think about? Thousands of years ago, the Bible predicted these things that are happening today. Boy, I tell you what, that's why it makes me that's why I get, I, 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 it makes me happy to live in this time that I get to see these things, amen. You know, John, uh, 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 John the Baptist, Jesus, and, and uh, Peter, and Paul, and John, and all them, they all got to read about, they all got to write about it, amen. They was inspired by, by God to write these things that are in the Bible, but you know what? We get to live them out today, amen? This day and time, we're living them things out that they wrote about all them years ago, amen? All them things that they wrote about, listen, we're seeing a, a lot of them come to pass today, amen? Right before our very eyes, we're seeing these things come to pass. And you know what? We shouldn't be afraid. We should be privileged to get to see these kind of things, amen? Because this generation... It's going to get to see a lot of things, amen. A lot of things that happened that was preached about in the Bible. Glory be to God. All those preachers that came before us, amen, and we're the generation that's going to get to see this stuff, amen. We're the generation that is seeing these things, amen. Thing after thing is happening today that just lines right up with the Bible that lets us know the Bible's real, heaven's real, hell's real, Listen, don't leave that out. Hell's just as real, amen? And there's people, listen, the Bible says hell enlarges every day, amen? Boy, that's something to think about right there. I don't want to go to that awful place called hell, and I don't want nobody that I know to go there, amen? I want us all to, to live forever in heaven with Jesus, amen? Boy, I tell you what, listen, God take care of you. Listen, whenever you die, you, to, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. God's going to take care of you then. He's going to take care of you now too. Amen. Listen, he's going to take care of us no matter what goes on. Even in this time, even in this time of, of trial and tribulation and things that's going on, I want to talk to you just a minute about that. I want to talk to you about things going on in your life. Amen. Big problems that go on in your life, big things that... Uh, some of us are, 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 are put up there uh, uh, to do the bigger things, to make the bigger decisions, to make, to make big life-changing decisions. Hey, man, I want to I talk to you just a few minutes about Joshua today. Joshua was Moses' right-hand man. Hey, man, Moses, Moses was the leader of the children. They was in bondage for 400 years. God sent Moses to Egypt. And he said, go get my children. Lead them out of that old bondage. Get them out of that place. Amen. He said, God said, I've heard their cries. Listen, have you cried out to God lately? Have you cried out to God lately because you need a little help? Amen. Boy, I tell you what, when you get to that point where you just have to cry out to God, where you just have to lay it all out, just lay it out. Some, listen, sometimes we have to get way down. Sometimes we have to get way down to the bottom, glory to God. Or there's only one way to look, and that's up, amen. But when you look up and you cry out to Jesus, glory be to God, he'll be right there for you, amen. Listen, Joshua was about to take over here for Moses. Joshua was about to take over here for him, and I want to read to you what, what, uh, 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 what was said to Joshua. 
We're in Joshua 1 and, and uh, verse 5. The Bible says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Boy, does that not sound familiar? Does that not sound familiar? That's the Lord talking to Joshua because Moses has died, amen? Moses has, has, has uh, he's done passed away, amen? And now Joshua's fixing to take on that big, that big uh, uh, thing of, of leading people around, leading people to the promised land, amen? He said, there shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. You know what? You know what Jesus told us? Listen, that's God talking to Joshua. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I'll go with you all the way. Does that not sound familiar to that? Jesus said, I'll go with you all the way, even unto the end. Listen, he'll never leave us, never forsake us. He'll go with us all the way, even unto the end of the world. Boy, I tell you what, what a, what a mighty, awesome God we serve. The, the Lord told Joshua, he said, Be strong and be of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper wherever soever thou goest. Boy, he tells us how to prosper right there. You know what? He tells, he tells us how to prosper today right there. That tells us how to prosper. He, the, uh, the, that's telling us to get in the word of God. You get in the Word of God and read the Word of God and get a hold of Jesus. Get a hold of the Lord God Almighty. Don't turn to the right hand. Don't turn to the left hand. You keep on that straight and narrow. Amen. Don't turn off here to this side and don't turn to that side. Don't look that way and don't look that way. Amen. Let's look straight ahead, glory to God. Don't even look back, glory to God. I don't want to look back. I want to look straight ahead because I'm going forward for Jesus. I'm going that way for Jesus Christ. Listen. He told him not to be worried. Jesus, uh, uh, God's the same today. God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if we'll keep that in our mind, listen, what he done for Joshua, he'll do for us, amen? He said, don't worry. Don't be fearful. Don't be scared. God's not the author of fear, amen? God don't, don't give us that spirit of fear. Listen, God don't give you that spirit of fear. We ought to be excited to be living in this day and time. Boy, I tell you what, Jesus is coming back. I want you to know today that I'm here telling you, just like Noah told him back in the days of Noah when the flood was coming, he told him for a hundred years, over a hundred years, there's a flood coming. I'm telling you today, Jesus is coming. Amen. Jesus is coming and I want you to be ready, glory to God. I want you to be one of them that's standing there looking up when he comes back. Amen. Because I'm going to be, hey man, I'm going to be looking up and I'm going to say, Lord, Lord, come and get me first, glory to God. I'm ready to go, amen. Boy, I tell you what, if you have a prayer request, if you have a, 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 a prayer request, you can uh, private message us at facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. You can call or text Brother Ricky Phillips at 256 630 1262. Larry Moss at 256-603-0641. Email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. Boy, I tell you what, love to hear from you. We'd love to pray with you. If you need prayer, you just call us, email us, send it to us in a, in a private message. It don't make no difference. We'll pray about it, glory to God. Whatever the need is today, we're ready to pray. Listen, you pray for us, amen. You pray for us. You pray for our country. Boy, I tell you what, it needs it. The whole world needs prayer today, amen. If you ain't got anything to pray about, pray about our country, amen. Boy, I tell you what, until the next broadcast, may God richly bless you, amen.